Good morning. Today we are going to see erythrocele incision using a thulium fiber laser. You are listening to Dr. Prabhu, a pediatric urologist at Hyderabad. So the principle we do follow is create and connect the dots. So for example, you are creating these kind of dots right on the erythrocele and once you are done creating these dots, all that is left over is connecting these dots. So let us see how the principle works. Here is a two-year-old child with the first episode of UTI. The child has been evaluated and ultrasound showed right hydroureteronephrosis with an urethrocele. This is the ultrasound picture and you can see the urethrocele right pouting into the bladder. And a EC renogram shows there is an obstruction at the level of BUJ. And for completion, an MCU was done, which is normal by all means. And thereafter, proceeded with the cystoscopy. Here is a left urethric orifice, and which is normal. And here is a right urethric orifice, which has got a urethrocele. So now we are bringing in the thulium fiber laser with an 8 watt power and we are seeing you are trying to create the dots over the urethrocele and do not deepen these dots till you are sure that you have created enough number of dots. Once you have created enough number of dots to create an image like smiley on the urethrocele, now you start dividing the tissue in between the dots using a thulium fiber laser. You, you start deepening the your incision. Now once the leftover tissue can be laser fulgurated using a thulium fiber laser and one of the ways to assess the completion of urethrocele fulguration is to negotiate the scope into the urethrocele into the ureter. The child was initially lost for follow-up and after eight months, the child returned back who was absolutely asymptomatic and the ultrasound of the child shows no evidence of urethrocele within the bladder and there is no evidence of hydroureteronephrosis after eight months. Thank you for listening.